Hello viewers, this is Ash and welcome to my video blog ash.marinebistv.com and I am here to keep you all updated uh, related to some of the important facts and figures related to shipping industry. As usual, before, me, before I move on to the updates, I always share some in interesting topics and articles with you all. Even today, I have something very interesting and something very different article which I want to share with you all. Today when I was reading this newspaper, I found this article and it says that will Cochin be under the sea, a call from North Pole. This article will uh, really fascinate uh, the viewers in Cochin in Kerala especially. I repeat, it says that will Cochin be under the sea, a call from North Pole. It was written by one of the uh, uh, journalists saying, uh, named Suresh. He says that he was writing this not from a topical beach resort, but he was sitting on the window seat of Greenpeace Arctic Sunrise, a North Pole expedition cruise. A 28-member group commenced the expedition on 10th June 2009 from Amsterdam and they observed the avalanche, sea level rise due to the melting of ice, polar animal species like polar bear which are under, polar bear which are under the danger of extinction. According to them, the sea level will rise at the rate of 1 meter when the temperature increases by 1 degree. The sudden rise in water level can also create an unexpected tsunami or deadly giant waves. Cochin, Cochin will be the first place to go under water in Kerala considering the altitude of the place from sea level. Suresh had to witness the melting and collapse of a famous glacier called Peterman Glacier. He witnessed this geographical turning point from a helicopter that was a giant 11 square miles big ice. The nuclear power projects planned by government across the world will further increase the global temperature. It's high time for us to realize the potential and harmless usage of nature-friendly renewable sources of energy. I found this very interesting. Well, I'm sure you must also have found this very interesting and it's all related to global warming. Anyways, let's move on to the first update. The first update goes like this. It says rescue operation continues for sunken ferry Princess Ashika. It says Navy drivers from New Zealand and Australia have been asked to come into Tongo to reach the sunken ferry MV Princess Ashika that is lying in over 36 meter, that is 100 feet of water, possibly holding the bodies of dozens of trapped victims, writes new site Matangi Tongo online. Local news reports indicate that 53 of 117 passengers on board the Shikaku dockyard built vessel at the time of the incidents has been rescued so far. The next update is Mighty Servant 3 back after sinking. It says Rotterdam based Dockwise has Mighty Servant 3 semi submersible heavy transport vessel back in its fleet after the vessel sunk off Angola in November 2007. The vessel was completely renovated by the Grand Bahama shipyard after being towed to the Bahamas from Cape Town, South Africa in January last year. The next update is E-Solar starts up Sierra Sun Tower plant. It says Solar Thermal Power Company E-Solar has opened its 5 MW Sierra Sun Tower solar power plant. The plant located in Lancaster in California Antelope Valley is producing electricity for Southern California Addison. The plant is the only solar power tower of this design in the US. The plant uses e-solar technology focusing 24,000 mirrors into a single point to harvest solar power. Very interesting updates we have today. Another one, every week though viewers, we have uh, an update exclusively related to piracy because piracy is, is reached to its extreme and we really need to do something to get rid of piracy. 
Anyways, there is one more update related to piracy saying that German ship released by pirates having been held hostage for four months, Hansa Stavanger is now underway to a safe port accompanied by two EU NAFO frigates of the German Navy operating in the area in support of EU lead anti-piracy operation Atlanta. Shortly after being released by the pirates, a German Navy security team went on board Hansa Stavanger and provided medical aid and logistical support. The final update goes like this. LNT to build install to build install ONGC's Mumbai High North platform. It says Larson and Tubro has won two offshore platform contracts from India's Oil and Natural Gas Corporation ONGC, valued at over INR 5,300 crores, that is US dollar 1.18 billion. The contracts are for the Mumbai High North, that is MHN, process platform and living quarter projects, as well as a supply of three process gas compression modules, all of which will be installed offshore India. So viewers, that's all we have for you today. Uh, you keep watching my blog, pass on, keep giving your comments, your feedback and do share information with me, any kind of information with me which you want me to uh, pass on to the viewers. Keep in touch through my blog ash.marinebiztv.com. Also, you can uh, view our website for further information about the updates that I have given you all. You can also visit news.marinebiztv.com. You take care. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Till then, bye-bye.